baby farmer who killed 400 infants. Amelia Elizabeth Dyer was an English serial killer who murdered infants in her care over a 30-year period during the Victorian period in the United Kingdom. Trained as a nurse and widowed in 1869, Dyer turned to baby farming, the practice of adopting unwanted infants in exchange for money, to support herself. She initially cared for the children legitimately, in addition to having two of her own, but whether intentionally or not a number of them died in her care, leading to a conviction for neglect and six months of hard labor. She then began directly murdering children she adopted, strangling at least some of them, and disposing of the bodies to avoid attention. Mentally unstable, she was committed to several mental asylums throughout her life, despite suspicions of feigning, and survived at least one serious suicide attempt. Dara's downfall came when the bagged corpse of an infant was discovered in the River Thames, with evidence leading to her. She was arrested on the 4th of April 1896. In one of the most sensational trials of the Victorian period, she was found guilty of the murder of infant Doris Marmon and hanged on the 10th of June 1896. At the time of her death, a handful of murders were attributed to Dyer, but there is little doubt she was responsible for many more similar deaths, possibly 400 or more, making her a candidate for history's most prolific serial killer. Dubbed the Ogress of Reading, Dyer inspired a popular murder ballad, and her case led to stricter laws for adoption and child protection, and also helped raise the profile of the fledgling National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children, which formed in 1884. In 1869, a 32-year-old Dyer was widowed and left destitute and resorted to baby farming to make money. This involved providing lodgings for women who had conceived illegitimately, then sending the babies for adoption. Desperate women would pay as much as £80-5,000 in today's money, to have their unwanted babies adopted into loving homes. But once they were born, Dyer allowed them to perish through neglect, without their mother's knowledge. She began murdering babies in her care using a substance called Godfrey's Cocktail a deadly mix of alcohol and opium. Dyer disposed of the bodies secretly, but in March 1896 a brown paper parcel containing the body of a baby girl wearing a name tag was found floating in the Thames. She was traced back to Dyer, and when her home was raided by police they found incriminating evidence, the stench of death and letters relating to the girl. Six more baby bodies were found in the river, and Dyer was hanged for the murders that year. It's believed she may have killed at least 400 infants, making her one of the most prolific serial killers ever.